welcome guys uh, so i have made this uh, small presentation about how to build a chatbot so i'll be covering uh, from scratch uh, the things which go uh, inside uh, building a chatbot and finally i'll sum it up by showing you a demonstration about the same so uh, so what will you need so basically these are the components that you'll need to set up the chatbot uh, on your uh, machine so you'll require anaconda 3 then you'll require python 3.7.0 then you'll require the c++ then you'll require open source code uh, rasa then you'll require spacey and grok and slack i'll cover uh, the, uh, the basics as we go forward so uh, so these are the installation steps so uh, you can go online how to install anaconda uh, and uh, you basically then uh, need to log in to uh, anaconda prompt with administrator rights and then you need to install uh, open source code uh, rasa x now rasa x is nothing but a, a, a graphical version of rasa which is the whole uh, brains behind the chatbot uh, so this is an open source code uh, course uh, yeah so then uh, you need to install uh, rasa x so rasa x is a graphical utility uh, for rasa which is the brains behind the rasa and by installing this uh, step over anaconda 3 prompt so this will not only install rasa x but uh, rasa as well uh, then uh, there is a library uh, called as Spacey which you will need to uh, download and then um, uh, follow it up with these two commands to integrate the Spacey library with the Rasa. Now, now what are the building blocks of Rasa? So uh, these are the essential uh, six seven components of uh, Rasa. So there are two model files. Uh, NLU and stories then there are uh, uh, YML files config domain credentials and endpoints and uh, finally there's a important Python file uh, by the name of actions so uh, th these are all the uh, files that you need to work with uh, for the uh, to enable the uh, chatbot so so what does this structure uh, look like so once you have got rasa installed so you will see under uh, anaconda 3 you will see uh, this uh, under rasa you will see this particular structure appearing so uh, of course many of the files uh, out here you won't be seeing because these get built up uh, when when your bot is ready so but the files which i mentioned these essentially will be there so you will see config file uh, then you'll see endpoints you'll see credentials you'll see domain uh, then you'll see uh, uh, actions uh, python file uh, you'll see a folder by the name of data then you'll also see a folder by the name of models so inside the data folder you'll see these two model files which is nlu and stories and then inside models uh, uh, f it will be blank initially but uh, as soon as you uh, train your uh, bot so there will be files built on top of it uh, and the more you train your bot the more intelligent it will get and uh, more and more uh, model files will get uh, installed over here and it will pick up the latest model file and uh, uh, it will be the it will have it will have the most comprehensive details which it will use to perform the actions on the bot yeah so uh, so these are the installation steps and the uh, initial uh, training steps um, these i have not uh, in detail i'm not covering it in this session this this will require a separate full uh, uh, session the scope of this session is limited to the introduction of installation uh, what all uh, how, how will you train and further the demonstration so uh, step one which uh, so after you have uh, 
uh, you've installed the Rasa and it's working, uh, you, you'll go to Anaconda 3 prompt and you will activate the virtual environment by giving this command Conda activate Rasa uh, and the, your virtual environment name. Uh, then you will initialize uh, uh, Rasa and you will start beginning with the training of the Rasa NLU model which is the Rasa train NLU and uh, after uh, training is done you will uh, then get into the uh, Rasa shell and start interacting with the uh, uh, the NLU uh, bot. Uh, after the uh, you're done with the NLU then uh, uh, you can go ahead and uh, start training your stories which is the core. So I'll uh, take up, uh, so you'll be wondering what what is NLU and core so I'll take these uh, in, in detail now as we move forward. Okay, so what is NLU then? So we go here, and then click on the NLU MD file. So NLU is nothing but uh, just drag this over here. Yeah. So NLU, uh, we have got intents. Then we have got we've got different uh, sort of intents uh, out here. And uh, for example, there's an intent uh, greet, then intent uh, like a restaurant search, and uh, uh, so w w which is the intent of the bot itself. And uh, maybe so this example I'm giving you for a restaurant search for example I'm looking for some restaurants in Mumbai uh, so this is an entity Mumbai is an entity out here and then uh, uh, there's an intent by the name of goodbye and uh, affirm and deny uh, how's the mood so all the intents uh, are to be captured in this particular uh, NLU file. Uh, it's basically all the things which you need to, uh, which you are communicating with the bot. So all that needs to be fed inside the uh, NLU.md file. Now, how does the story look like? In fact, uh, before going to stories, let me first uh, show you an important other file, which is domain. Now, uh, as you can see, so all the intents which were captured in the uh, in the NLU file are listed out here, and all the entities which we saw under under brackets are uh, are also mentioned over here. Then there's something called as slots. So Whenever uh, we are giving some information to the bot, for example, a budget for the uh, uh, lunch or budget for the or the number of people or the type of the cuisine, so all these are captured and stored in the internal memory of the bot, which we refer to as the uh, slot. So, uh, so data type and the type of the uh, entity has to be mentioned out here. And then uh, responses are the responses which the bot will utter uh, when it will get your message. So, uh, for example, when, when, you, when you're querying to search a restaurant, so it will ask you uh, what cuisine or uh, what particular location, what's your email ID, etc., etc. So, all of this information gets inside the domain.yml file. Then stories uh, so stories are basically it's a complete uh, set of interactive uh, messages uh, uh, this uh, you can uh, give it in the first instance uh, out there uh, a few of the stories for example uh, this is a combination of all the entities uh, and the uh, intents um, and the uh, responses. So, uh, for example, greet uh, uh, is an intent f followed by utter greet, which the bot is now responding to the greet, uh, and followed by a restaurant search, which the bot needs to do. So, such stories needs to be built uh, on top 
uh, of the bot so once you have done it you can fine tune these stories uh, to enable your final model to come through uh, so that's the uh, concept of the bot okay so step number two so uh, assuming that uh, we have done with the installation and the uh, training of the nlu and the stories uh, now i'll start to show how to run the servers and how uh, it will finally uh, integrate up to a working chatbot so first we uh, go to the terminal one and we say so we activate the uh, virtual environment for the terminal one need to open a terminal 2 as well and again activate another conda uh, session and we need to say rasa run, rasa run actions on terminal 1 this will run the action server on uh, terminal 1 so all the All the actions which were listed down in the uh, domain file I will now start uh, coming up. So sorry guys, I just forgot to mention one step. So basically we need to go to the folder where the project is stored uh, so yeah we go there and run the rasa actions on the terminal one similarly we copy this path Then we go to terminal 1 and we type the path and we say rasa run. This starts running now, so then we need to go to ngrok. Under ngrok, we need to type this command ngrok http 5005. It's running to copy this path. Then we need to go to api.slacks. I assume that you have now your Slack installed. Need to type this path. Yeah, we need to type this path over here uh, followed by webhook slash slack and webhook then say save changes yeah, then we need to go to app dot slack where this bob uh, where this bot resides It's responding. So I made a search. I'm looking for Chinese restaurants in Delhi, and it beautifully responds back. And this can also email the same to me. I've also mentioned the link uh, uh, for the Slack where you can just 
uh, integrate with this chatbot so i'll be also showing the detailed videos later thank you so much